Throughout the existence of our planet, an incredible variety of living organisms has called it home, but for various reasons, most of them did not survive to this day. We are all familiar with the story of the giant meteor that marked the end of the age of dinosaurs. From our school history lessons, we also know that mammoths, woolly rhinoceroses, and saber-toothed tigers once roamed the earth. Yet, for some reason, they too went extinct. In fact, scientists believe that life has had to restart its development from scratch at least 10 times. The first five mass extinctions occurred during periods when life had not even fully emerged from the water. There is very little known about these events, and almost nothing about the organisms that lived during those times. However, the five subsequent catastrophes are studied in much greater detail. Today, we want to focus on those. Before we delve into the most significant mass extinctions known to science, it's important to clarify that such disasters are part of the natural course of the planet's evolution. The first event of this magnitude occurred around two and a half billion years ago. At that time, a large number of single-celled microorganisms appeared in the water, consuming carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen. The excess oxygen in the water led to the extinction of nearly all earlier life forms over the course of 200 million years. For them, this gas was a lethal poison. Only those anaerobic life forms that resided in deep waters managed to survive. Approximately 700 million years ago, a period often referred to in scientific circles as Snowball Earth occurred. During this time, the planet was covered by a solid icy shell, and from space, it likely resembled a giant snowball. Scientists have no doubt that this marked the end for the organisms that had been enriching the atmosphere with oxygen. However, debates about the causes of these climatic changes continue to this day. The Ediacaran extinction, which took place 542 million years ago, has been discussed by scientists only relatively recently. The designation of this time as a distinct geological period occurred in 2004. The scale of the extinction can be inferred from the missing remains of the animals that lived during that era found in geological layers. Primarily, these were soft-bodied invertebrates, whose remains ceased to appear in layers corresponding to several million years. Little is known about the Cambrian Ordovician extinction, which occurred around 500 million years ago. Very little information is available about it, yet it was during this time that trilobites, brachiopods, and many other arthropods vanished. The cause of this extinction was a sudden decrease in the amount of oxygen in the water. The extinctions primarily affected marine creatures, as land remained a lifeless desert at that time. Now we arrive at the mass extinctions that can confidently be classified as planetary-scale catastrophes. Scientists identify five such periods during which nearly all marine and terrestrial species faced extinction. The Ordovician Silurian Extinction in this case, scientists refer not to a specific time frame, but to two successive spikes in extinction events. One occurred 447 million years ago, followed by another 4 million years later. This extinction primarily impacted marine flora and fauna, with approximately 60% of all species inhabiting the seas and oceans disappearing during these two periods. At the beginning of the Ordovician period, marine life was thriving, but after the catastrophe, the underwater world became eerily empty. Scientists have yet to reach a consensus on the cause of this extinction. Among the most likely explanations are a gamma-ray burst occurring in space near Earth, increased volcanic activity, or soil erosion releasing various gases that contributed to the mass die-off of animals and plants. The Devonian Extinction Possibly, the catastrophe that unfolded over 25 million years was also a series of mass extinction pulses. During this time, a significant number of marine inhabitants, including many fish species, perished. The most likely cause of this mass extinction is believed to be climate change and alterations in atmospheric composition. During this period, plants were rapidly colonizing land and the emergence of tropical forests led to increased concentrations of oxygen in both water and air. Not all living organisms could adapt to these changes. Additionally, as oxygen levels rose, a general cooling trend began to affect the planet. The Great Permian Extinction Around 250 million years ago, the most extensive mass extinction in the history of our planet occurred. 
It resulted in the disappearance of 95% of all marine animals and approximately 70% of terrestrial inhabitants. There is credible evidence that this extinction also affected the world of insects and arthropods, with even bacteria and other microorganisms suffering losses. Following this event, nature required nearly 10 million years to recover its lost diversity. However, as seen in previous mass extinctions, the demise of some species allowed others to flourish. During the Permian extinction, nearly all synapsids, which had previously dominated the land, vanished. In their absence, the ancestors of modern birds and reptiles took over, and most importantly, the first mammals emerged during this time. The Triassic Extinction 50 million years later, many of the surviving therapsids, archosaurs, and amphibians from the Permian extinction vanished from the Earth. This marked the beginning of the age of dinosaurs, which dominated the planet for nearly 150 million years. The exact cause of this catastrophe remains unknown, but one of the most plausible theories suggests that a significant release of methane into the water and atmosphere occurred. During this time, the continents were actively shifting, which could have led to tectonic plate movements and increased volcanic activity, resulting in the release of massive amounts of gas. The Cretaceous-Paleogene Extinction Perhaps the most famous of all mass extinctions in Earth's history, this event is well known to every schoolchild through the story of the giant meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs. However, the true cause of their extinction, as is often the case, was global climate change, which most living organisms could not adapt to. A general cooling trend, triggered by dust and debris thrown into the atmosphere from the impact of the meteorite, along with volcanic ash from numerous eruptions, led to the disappearance of many plant species. This, in turn, resulted in the extinction of large herbivores and predators that could not find enough food. Ultimately, many terrestrial, marine, and flying reptiles vanished. Yet, small birds, some dinosaurs, snakes, turtles, crocodiliforms, and many other animals survived the catastrophe. Their descendants inhabit our planet today. The Quaternary Extinction Many scientists believe we are currently experiencing another mass extinction event. Partially to blame is humanity, whose activities are accelerating the extinction of various life forms. The disappearance of the so-called mammoth fauna may be seen as the first phase of this process. The primary reason for the extinction of mammoths, giant bears, and woolly rhinoceroses was the reduction of their natural habitats due to climate change. However, there is a theory that Stone Age hunters may have hastened this process. Over time, humans began to occupy more and more land, clearing forests, cultivating the soil, and extracting natural resources. Today, these activities have reached unprecedented levels, and an increasing number of animals and plants are being listed in the Red Book or are on the brink of extinction. Perhaps this would have happened even without human involvement. But the active role of humanity in the ongoing destruction of life on our planet is evident. Nature will eventually restore the diversity of species and the number of living organisms over time. But whether there will be a place for humans in this new life is a significant question. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you want to learn more about the creatures that lived during each of these periods, be sure to check out the other videos on our channel.